Hey everyone, I'm Rick the Bookkeeper. Welcome to the channel. If you're a small business owner considering QuickBooks Online, you might be wondering which of the subscription plans should I choose? Well, today I'll break down the different plans and help you figure out which one is right for your business. Let's dive in. So this is the QuickBooks Online comparison and pricing chart for the four plans. Over here on the left, they start with the QuickBooks Online Simple Start, and then the Essentials, the Plus, and finally the Advanced Plan. QuickBooks will typically offer either a 30% or a 50% discount for the first three months, and then they'll go back to their normal pricing. Here they're offering a 50% today, and you can see the large numbers in bold are the discounted prices. Above that are the normal pricing. Now under the simple start you can see all the features and like a typical comparison chart as you move from left to right they add the features at higher price points. As you're making your decision you're definitely going to want to look at all of these different features and see what you do need and what you do not need. For instance if you're an e-commerce business you can see here down where the cursor is on the left under simple start you're allowed one sales channel as you move up to essentials you're allowed three sales channels and then if you move up to plus you're allowed all sales channels so for instance if you're selling on Amazon and Etsy and Facebook market and you know others Shopify then that might be a big driver of the decision you'll want to make also if you're dealing with inventory for instance you don't start getting inventory tracking until you move up to the plus plan as you can see here with the inventory just a few things to keep in mind in an effort to sort through all the information and just to cut to the chase what I've done is created a few slides that we'll go to next and there I focused in on a few of the key features of each of the plans and a few potential reasons why a small business owner may want to upgrade to the next plan, depending, of course, on their requirements. Before we move on to the slides, I'd like to make one suggestion, and that would be to get the plan that you need. As you grow and scale your business, you can always upgrade to the next plan at a future date. But on the flip side of that, try not to skimp on the plan in other words, try not to get less than what you need. For instance, let's say you have a business that requires inventory tracking and you get a plan down here, either Simple Start or Essentials, that does not include inventory tracking. Then you're going to be doing it on a spreadsheet and trying to bring it into the system. And that's just going to create a lot more work and a lot more frustration and and stress in the long run. So my suggestion again is just to get the plan that you need and you can always adjust as you move forward. All right, I'll go to the slides now. This slide represents a progression or a step up from the bottom simple start all the way up to advanced and really it focuses on the cost and the number of users allowed. So simple start costs 35 a month and allows for one user and two accounting firms. By the way, all the plans offer up to two accounting firms. In other words, you can invite two accounting firms into your books. Now moving up from Simple Start to Essentials, we're almost double the price, $65 a month up to three users. Plus is $99 a month up to five users. Plus is their most popular plan. And then to Advanced, $235 a month, a big increase, up to 25 users. Now let's take a look at each one of these separately. Okay, first up is Simple Start for self-employed solopreneurs and very small businesses that want basic bookkeeping tools, including income and expense tracking, reporting, invoicing, sales tax, and mileage tracking. Main features include recurring payments for subscriptions, rent, utilities, insurance, that kind of thing. Prepare and file 1099s for vendors and print checks. Next up is Essentials. It's best for small businesses that bill clients for hours worked, such as law firms, consultants, marketing agencies, and so forth. Main reasons to upgrade from Simple Start include you need more than one user. Essentials offers three or up to three users. You need to track time for hourly work and assign it to specific customers and manage and pay bills. Moving along, we're now at QuickBooks Online Plus Plan. This is for growing businesses that need project tracking and inventory. Or I should say it's best for growing businesses that need project tracking 
and inventory. Main reasons to upgrade from essentials? Well, number one, track inventory. When you purchase inventory, you just input the item, quantity, and price, allowing the system to track cost per unit. It will know cost of goods sold for each unit sold and also for remaining inventory, which is necessary, of course, as you know, for year-end balances, for your tax preparer, CPA, and, of course, the IRS. The second feature is to track income and expenses by location and class, which means you can run profitability reports or profit and loss statements by location and class. Of course, location is simply if you have multiple locations and class. QuickBooks defines class as a separate or a distinct segment of your business. For instance, if you have multiple product lines, each product line would be a separate class and the system allows you to compare profit and loss for each product line. Or if you're a store, it could be separate departments, so forth and so on. And finally, it allows you to track profit and loss by a project. For instance, a construction company or a contractor with multiple projects, you can assign you know, income, expenses, labor costs, etc., to each specific project, which allows you to track and analyze the profitability of a job. And now we've arrived at the top with QuickBooks Online Advanced Plan. It's for larger small businesses. Actually, I think it's for larger small businesses and smaller medium-sized businesses that require advanced reporting and automation. Some of the main reasons to upgrade from Plus include if you need more than five users. In other words, if you have a lot of department heads that you want to have permissions inside your books or have access to your books, or you have a large accounting department and you need more than five users. Second, complexity of operations and financials. You also get an additional inventory method. In essentials, you get FIFO, which is first in, first out. With advanced, you have a choice of FIFO or WAC, which is weighted average cost. So you have a choice of which inventory method that you prefer. As far as fixed assets concerned, the system calculates depreciation and upon sale calculates gain and loss. And a bonus, which is a big bonus, you have a dedicated support person, as opposed to the other plans where you call in and you'll speak to whoever answers the phone on that particular call. Well, I hope this has helped you decide which plan is most suitable for your business. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more QuickBooks Online and bookkeeping tips. See you next time.